Welcome back! Today on Dialed In DIY, I'm dialing in some of my previous pneumatic cannon projects to make this awesome ping pong ball shooter. The image you see here shows you all the key parts that you'll need, but for easier reference, I will put a link to this image in the description below. Just like in previous builds, I'm relying on PVC parts to make much of this pneumatic cannon that has been modified to shoot ping pong balls. Most of my connections on this build do involve PVC cement, so I highly recommend you follow the directions on the label of whatever product you purchase very carefully and do some research to make sure you're using exactly what you want to meet the specs of your build. For this particular build, you see the inset picture with the stars showing exactly what parts I do cement together. For now, I'll increase the speed of the playback just a little bit to get us through all of the cementing parts, but I do highly encourage you stick with this video and watch all of the important safety considerations at the end of the video. Please note that I am using this build design to fit the needs that I am working towards, which means I plan to use a reasonably low PSI in order to make my ping pong balls shoot. All of the materials that I am using in this build can be found at primarily any hardware store or plumbing supply store. If you'd rather buy online, there are plenty of sources for that as well. The cement that I'm using does indicate that the full cure time takes up to 24 hours, so I always allow at least that 24 hour period to make sure that the cement and all of the connections have cured really well before I put any pressure into the device. So what we've assembled so far at the top of the screen is the pressure chamber, the elbow bend which will bring us to our valve, and our connection to the barrel which we will need to do by threading some pieces together in just a couple moments. You can see the parts identified with bullseyes that we're going to be screwing together here in the next section of this build. And please note that for the first quick pressure test, I'm just going to put them together without doing any kind of sealant around the joints. But we will go back and adjust that later once we've proved that this actually holds pressure and works the way we want it to. In past videos, you may have seen me use some repurposed valve stems, but today I am taking one that I picked up at an auto supply store because it has a wonderful threaded set at the bottom, which also has a rubber plunger, which holds a very secure connection into my end cap. This build was designed to use a small bicycle pump, which I can attach to the pressure chamber. However, if you want to fill it up quicker, get a bigger pump and start pumping away. I'm going to use a small pressure to start with, put the ping pong ball inside, and test proof of concept. Even with just a little bit of pressure, the ping pong ball is ejected, shoots across the room, and bounces back. I think I'm good to go ahead and make everything a little bit more permanent. For this next step, I grab my spool of yellow PTFE tape that is used for gas supply lines. It's a little bit thicker than your white Teflon tape, and I have found it works really well at keeping pressure inside of things where I don't want the pressure to get out yet. This is the basic build and it is now complete. So all we have left to do is test it out, maybe decorate it if you want to, and do any little add-on touches that you'd like to do. But let's start with some tests. You can see in this completed model, the U-return we have on here makes a great handle and is very easy to grab the ball out, open it up and fire. Once I liked the full operation of everything, I did go back and hit it with a primer coat, 
spray painted it with two coats and then finished it with a clear coat. Thanks for taking some time to stop by Dialed In DIY to check out my unique way of shooting some ping pong balls. If you liked it or got a little something out of it, let me know with a thumbs up. And as long as you're here, please subscribe. I'd love for you to come back to check out some of my other videos. Got some unique ideas for this build or maybe just some fun ideas for improving on your favorite pong game? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Whether you're looking for new things to build, hack, take apart, or just try to fix, I hope you come on back soon because there'll be plenty more dialed in DIY to come.